Oh. Oh my god. Every day, this thing scares me. Is that not the creepiest thing you've ever heard? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would try something new and I've seen a few people do this and I just think it's a really cool idea to kind of mix a get ready with me and a haul together. Yeah, it kind of shows you how the product works as soon as I kind of tell you about them, which I think is a really good way to do it. So without further ado, I'm gonna get straight into it and let you know what I have bought and show you how I got this face today. The first product that I have to show you guys today is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. Firstly, how cute is the package? I've never had Too Faced products before and there's a few in this haul slash get ready with me that I'm really excited to share with you. This is really nice because it's silicone free so it won't clog up your pores and stuff and it says it's got coconut water, probiotic based ingredients and skin revivers in it. Yeah, I really like it. It feels almost like a moisturiser. It's super like nourishing and moisturising. Smells really good. It's still really lightweight and it doesn't have that weird kind of silky silicone feeling but it still seems to kind of blur your imperfections and yeah I really like it I love that it comes in a little pump so far so good I'll keep you guys updated it might be in my favorites by the end of the month who knows the next product that I used to get this face today was the Urban Decay Brow Beater I'm really sorry if I didn't get a proper shot of me applying this I think I messed it up but I mean, you know, it's just a pencil that you kind of draw your brows on with. Although I've never tried the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil thing, this looks very similar to what I've seen. It's got the spoolie on one end and then a really, really fine, twisty pencil on the other end. It's very similar to the Soap and Glory one, but I actually prefer this one. The colour is really nice. It's very neutral. It's not too warm and not too ashy. The texture of the pencil is amazing. It's not too hard, not too soft. So it's not like really, really creamy, but it's not super hard to the point where it's really difficult to get colour out. I have this in the shade Dark and I think it's the perfect match. I think I could go for a lighter one, but I like quite dark, intense brows. Honestly, this is amazing. It's a little bit pricey, but it's totally worth it because it's just awesome. The next product that I used on my face is another Too Faced product, and it is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I have seen so many YouTubers rave about this, including one of my good friends, Helena. I'll leave her channel link down below. She's amazing. Ever since I heard my friends rave about this, I'm like, I need to try it, and I just never got around to it. And I was so lucky to be sent this, and I've got it in the shade Golden. I don't know how they did it, but it is the perfect shade for my skin at the moment. It's absolutely perfect. It's just amazing. It says undetectable medium to full coverage foundation. It really is undetectable. It literally looks like skin. It's so beautiful. It applies perfectly. It blends into the skin perfectly. And it's oil free, so it's probably really good for you oily skinned people out there. And also those that are kind of prone to breaking out, it's probably better to have an oil free foundation. It's just such a beautiful product. I'm scared because when I start to get tanned, I'm gonna have to buy like two or three more shades of this and it's gonna be taking my money. <laughs> so to start my eyes off I primed them as always and I used the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion which I always use but this time I have it in the shade Eden. Recently I went to an Urban Decay event where they were opening a new store in Brent Cross so if you guys are around that area they have an Urban Decay store there now so you should check it out it's amazing. I think we were like testing out colours and stuff and I said something along the lines of certain colours always looking really ashy on me. A lovely makeup artist there actually told me to get the primer potion in Eden because it's like a yellow based primer. That yellow tint kind of counteracts ashiness so that the colour shows up truer on darker skins. It definitely works. It's amazing. I can't thank that lovely, lovely girl enough for her advice. So to continue my eyes from there, I actually used a new shadow palette and it is the BH Cosmetics Essential Eyes 28 Colour Eyeshadow Palette. I have wanted to try BH Cosmetics for so long. I remember when I first started watching YouTube years ago, people would rave about the BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes and you know the ones that had like millions of colours in them. So I was super excited to try this out and it's just the perfect kind of nudes palette. It's got your lights to darks and these are satin matte and shimmer eyeshadows. Really good price point. The payoff is pretty decent. The colours are lovely. I mean you guys can judge for yourself but it's really really nice actually. What I use to apply those are some Sigma brushes. New ones that I got. You guys know I love Sigma brushes. I actually used the Sigma tapered blending brush and I use that to apply colour into the crease and this is amazing it's so good super fluffy I really like this and then to pack the colour onto my eyelid I use the Sigma eyeshading brush which is really cute and short and kind of 
dense and chubby and I like that the actual brush is chubby it feels really nice in the hands and then for highlights and inner corners of my eyes I use the Sigma pencil brush really really nice and precise not too dense and not too fluffy and I love how it's tapered so you can pack on more or less depending on how you hold the brush the next product that I used on my eyes was eyeliner no wing today just kind of thickening the lash line and defining it and for that I use the NYX gel liner and smudger in dark brown and I use the Sigma small angle brush these two products are beautiful especially together this brush is the perfect size the perfect density the perfect everything for eyeliner I love this so 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 much this liner I really like the fact that it's brown because I feel like it's a little bit less harsh when you're not really wanting a winged liner I think now when I go for a no liner look like no wing look I'm gonna use a brown instead of a black it's just so nice very natural makes the lashes look thicker really really nice and this is so creamy and so smooth and easy to apply as for my lashes the lashes that I applied are I think they're either charm or she devil I mix the boxes up so they're either she devil or charm by black magic lashes these are cruelty free mink lashes I've never tried mink lashes before I wouldn't unless they were cruelty free and these are just beautiful I've gone through three pairs already like worn them repetitively and worn them to the point where I can't wear them anymore I love these lashes so much they look so natural and beautiful and they feel so light on the eye every time I wear them people are like you ain't eyelash extensions? Like, are they your real lashes? I'm like, no, they're just strip lash. And people can't believe that they are a strip lash. So moving back onto my face, I went in with the Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation in Deep Tan. And I use this as a bronzer slash kind of contour because it's a little bit too dark for my skin tone right now. I think it'll be fine when I'm tan, but it's more of a kind of warming up my face color right now. So I used this and I applied it with the Sigma Large Angled Contour. Oh, this powder smells like chocolate. Firstly, I've got to smell it now that I've said it. So firstly this powder smells like chocolate which is oh like who doesn't want that. The colour payoff is amazing, it feels really nice on the skin, does not look cakey and this brush to apply it is amazing. It's so soft and so fluffy and the shape is just the perfect kind of fit to get into the contours of your face. I love how it kind of picks up the product nicely and dispenses it evenly because it's fluffy it kind of is an even application it blends it out really really nicely for highlighter I used a new one from a brand that I have only recently come across and this is milk makeup you can find these in Urban Outfitters so it's kind of like a stick highlighter and you just kind of twist it up it's a cream highlight really really nice super natural looking like you've got a kind of natural glow from within the thing that made me laugh and want to put this in this video is that the highlighter is called lit like it's called lit and when i put it on i'm just like am i lit yet so i have another sigma and Too faced combination for you and that is the Too faced love flush blush in i will always love you and the sigma large powder brush again nice and fluffy perfect kind of shape to apply onto the cheeks dispenses it really nicely because it's not really really dense and the Too Faced blush is also gorgeous the firstly it's heart shaped but it's got this really cute design in it where it's got like bunnies and flowers and color payoff is really really nice it's got a shimmer in it but you can't tell until you put it in your face so it's really really finely milled it's not even a shimmer it's just like a glow it's so nice this is the perfect color for me it's like a little bit warm really peachy corally i really really love this blush and last but not least on my lips i used another Too faced product which is the Too faced melted chocolate liquefied longwear lipstick in the shade chocolate honey you guys know i love my browns and this is a brown kind of shade that i've never really worn before oh my god this actually smells like melted chocolate if you ever go past the Too Faced counter, please smell it. It will make you buy them all. It literally smells like melted chocolate. I don't understand. But yeah, this isn't the kind of brown shade I would usually go for. I'd probably go for something a bit darker. But it's so like creamy and milky and smooth. It's such a beautiful product. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be matte, but it's not drying. It looks super like velvety and smooth and lovely. And my lips smell like chocolate all day. Although that's not the best idea because it makes me want to lick the lipstick off. And I really want to try some of the other colors out. That is what I used on my face and how I achieved this look and all the products that I have recently acquired. Let me know what your favorite product is or if you've tried any of these or anything similar that you think I should try. And please thumbs this video up or just let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this type of video so I know to do them again. And yeah, I will catch you guys all in my next video. Until next time, bye. Mwah.